if I said, as I do every day, uh, that, uh, that a, a trans man is not a woman, no matter how much they'd like to be, uh, no matter how much even they believe themselves to be, uh, that a man cannot become a woman. That would be a hate crime under this bill. Well, um, well, fortunately, I'm not a police officer, so I'll never have to adjudicate on that. Uh, but the absurd thing is that a police officer might have to adjudicate on that, because you, you've certainly touched on an area uh, where there would be objections to any such statement, that someone would feel insulted, and therefore, they, perceiving themselves to be the victim of a hate crime, they would go to the police. Uh, now, I, I, the last thing I want to do is to get into to that debate, but it is a very good example of where, you know, the that somebody, and, and this is where the, the Catholic Church, for instance, that, that their, their concern is that, you know, they have, they have beliefs which may no longer be majority beliefs about, about uh, society and uh, particularly around ge issues of, of procreation and gender and so on. But there, there surely were legitimate points of view uh, which are there to be disagreed with. But if someone interprets them uh, as an attack on them uh, on them, um, and, and objects, does not simply disagree with them, but objects to the right to express them, then potentially an offence is, is created. So I'd keep it as, as general as, as, uh, uh, as that. And I think it's very easy to see why so many people see this as downright, uh, downright pernicious. But certainly, and, and actually the whole transgender thing has been brought into the scope of the legislation. So it's actually teeing it up. Uh, for for exactly the sort of um, a, you know impossible dilemma for those called on to enforce it uh, that 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 you describe.